Hey guys, welcome back to another diecast video. It's been a while. It took like a whole two weeks for this car to get here. Um, I guess, you know, holiday shipping traffic and stuff. But anyway, we have another video here. We have two new releases. We have the Jeff Gordon 2002 Bristol win as a NASCAR classic, of course. And we also have the Bubble Wallace. Was this officially called? U.S. Air Force Warthog. The one that, you know, is designed after a plane. And because of the of pretty much my own rules, since there's only two new releases, I want to get to five cars. So I also have two others that I bought for cheap uh, from the clearance section of Lionel. We have Chris Busher's what is this? Uh, 2018 37 Louisiana Hot Sauce. And we have Clint Boyer's 2018 Wix Filters. I just realized I didn't really do the whole spin around of the box. Even though it's all generic, some people like that, so. And the newer one, or at least the Bubble Wallace one, seems to have a darker box than the uh, other two over here. And there's the classic box, a little bit different. But anyway, the last thing we have here is clearly a custom. But, uh... Um, I would show off the box, but, you know, the box isn't necessarily relevant. Uh, it's It did come in one, but it was a 2018 Johnny Sauter Daytona race win, which I can kind of tell that's exactly what this truck is, or at least the fact that it's a race win, because the, uh, the tires are a little beat up there. But that that's cool. That adds to it. So, uh... So yeah, it did come in a box, as I said, but I didn't really think it was relevant enough to the truck itself to show off. So, um, yeah. But anyway, let's, uh, now that this is, you know, already unboxed, let's start off with the 124 here. As you can see, there is no name on there, um, which is actually how it ran sometimes, according to some reference pictures I found. Uh, but this is Norm Benning's don't really know specifically what race. I know Zomongo seemed like they first sponsored him at uh, Daytona last year. So I'm going to go with that. Um, but as I said, don't know specifically what race. This is a Norm Benning. Um, like I said, I think it's 2018. Zomongo truck Silverado. Um, obviously, this is a custom. I actually, I have to pause the video for a second because I have... Um, a card of the guy who made it. I want to uh, shout him out here. Okay, so I actually have no idea what happened to that card. Uh, I remember specifically setting it aside, so I would remember to show it off here. Um, but I have no idea what happened to it. <laughs> so uh, this is their Facebook page that I did find, Taz Racing Customs. This is what was on the card. And uh, yeah, they do a bunch of stuff. So uh, check them out. Anyway, back to this. This is obviously really well done. I did find some bits of like dry glue and stuff, but really that's not that big of a deal. Um, most of the stickers, you can't really tell the indentation. You know, it just is a nice smooth transition, which is nice. Anyway, uh, the paint scheme, not much to go over. It is black. <laughs> it's a black paint scheme. And that's really all you need to know. The numbers, all of them are yellow with the red and yellow outline. And the sponsors are Zomongo Inc. on the hood. Zomongo on each of the sides. There's nothing on the back. Silverado and Chevy, that's it. And then Zomongo over here. So really that's pretty quick. But it's a really good custom. As I said, check out Taz Racing Customs on Facebook. It's a really cool place. Um, and I might uh, get stuff from them again. Who knows? But this was really well done. I'm glad to have a Norm Benning truck <laughs> that, you know, driver that probably will never get a die cast made, but uh, officially, but now I have a custom, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, on to the 164s. Let's unpackage them. Okay, so here are the 164s of the day. Let's start with the new releases. So let's start with Jeff Gordon's 2002 Bristol win. And I don't know, for whatever reason, this just doesn't look right doesn't look that great to me mold wise um now i did check on the bottom it is where is it the 
EL mold, which is the newest one, which is, you know, the, the considered the best one, I guess. Um, maybe it has something to do with these tires just not being, you know, put on right. Because as you can see, I flip it on one side and just completely juts out. That might be what it is. But for some reason, this car just does not look great to me at all. Um, paint scheme, damage, pretty good. But the mold, not really. Can I find this car i don't know if i still have it out but the i was going to compare it to the jimmy johnson um first ride car but uh actually i think i may have it over here um bear with me here it is this car um this is obviously authentic so i haven't opened yet because i'm still waiting to get the rest of wave seven but even on this, it looks a ton better than the Jeff Gordon one. Like I said, it might might just be the mold, but it just doesn't look right to me. But anyway, let's uh, let's stop complaining. <laughs> let's get on to this. So the, the paint scheme is the one of the classic Jeff Gordon paint schemes. I ran from two thousand one to two thousand nine is when he stopped doing it. Um, the main part of the car is this nice metallic blue. The little kind of flakes in it, the metal flakes. Then you have the, the the red flames. Starts up here on the hood. And then goes off to the side here. Kind of stops right there. Then you have a little bit more flames in the quarter panel. Then of course the same paint scheme on this side. And then the back is all red. And another thing about this, if you haven't noticed, is that there's a lot of sponsors missing, which kind of hurts it a little bit, but in my opinion, doesn't hurt it as much as these damn tires. <laughs> but, and I don't know if that's just my diecast that came like that, or if that's all of them that have these wonky tires. But, uh, race damage. Um, there's some damage, but we have a ton of dirt, because Bristol usually has a ton of dirt build up. Um, can I get it in any better light than this? It's a little better, but, and it's still not really coming up that well on camera, but there is a lot of dirt there on the hood. There is uh, some significant damage over here on the quarter panel, whether that was actually there or not, you know. What I mean by that is whether this quarter panel is completely gone or not, I don't know. You have some nice indentations here, like he was being beaten on from the from behind, as you can see. That's pretty cool. Uh, you have a couple donuts right here. I have about three. I have one there, one right next to it, and one over here by the tire. Some more of the dirt over there toward the front. And a little bit more indentation of damage right there. So that's pretty much the damage. Sponsors, you have DuPont. I didn't do the numbers. The numbers, of course, are all... Yellow with the black outline, a little bit of shadow in the background as well. So now sponsors. DuPont on the hood. DuPont over here. You have, what is that thing down there? Hold on. I don't know what that thing is. I, I have no idea what that thing is. You have Quaker State. You have 1-800 Mero 2. You Delphi Haas Hendrick Motorsports. What is this thing? I don't know what that other thing is. Uh, on the back of DuPont, it would say other stuff here, but just DuPont, same thing here. On the deck lid, DuPont. Then, of course, it's the same on this side as well. It does have the old tires, the Goodyear number no. 1 Eagles, and the old NASCAR race car logo, and all the contentiencies, if they're a different logo at the time, then uh, it's the old logo, of course. So, now we have Bubba Wallace's 2019 U.S. Air Force Warthog. Uh, it's a really cool car. It really is. Uh, the paint scheme, as you can see, is, is very, it's supposed to look like a rustic, uh, kind of World War II airplane. Uh, nice gray metallic finish on it. It looks really great. All the way around, nice and gray. And that's pretty much it for the paint scheme. Um, yeah, I do have this decal here, um, of the teeth of the warthog and uh it literally goes all the way around and off 
past the tire here. So that's really cool. But that is really the extent of the paint scheme itself. So you can see there are little indentations of like, you know, the metal where it's put together, which helps it really, really nicely. See there and there. It's really nice the way, the way this looks. The numbers on the side are white with the blue outline. And the roof is orange with the blue outline. And um, sponsors, we have U.S. Air Force. U.S. Air Force over here, TI, Transportation Impact, Safety Clean, uh, U.S. Air Force, we have a little bit of a chip right there, um, Club Wyndham, Pioneer, Coke, Mac Tools, STP, Wix Filters, Mac, damn, what's all this up here, Worldwide Technology, Aftershocks, hold on, I'm sorry I keep doing this, I think that's another U.S. Air Force thing, I think, that thing right there. I thought I saw US Air Force logo on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, is there anything different on this? I always check now for like certain patches. This does have the NASCAR salutes on it. Um, deck lid, there is nothing. On the back, we have McDonald's and then US Air Force aim high. And is that Pioneer again? Come on, focus. No, that's Allsco right there. So you even got different sponsors on the back. So those are your new releases. Um, it, they've been out for about two weeks, but like I said, Black Friday rush, holiday rush. Uh, it took a while for them to get here. Jeff Gordon one actually came about two weeks ago, but this one just came today <laughs> after I got an email saying it shipped two weeks ago. So anyway, on to the older ones, kind of just to fill out the field here. We have the 2018 Chris Busher Louisiana hot sauce car. This is also an interesting paint scheme. I would say the main color is black, but then as you can see, it also fades a little bit with gray here and there. You see on the roof and toward the front of the hood there, that main color kind of fades to gray. A little bit over here too. Of course, over there. So it's very interesting that way. And then of course you have the flames. They're not really in the front, but they start over here toward the front quarter panel. And these sort of flames kind of die out back here toward the rear wheel and the back has a bunch of flames as well as you can see all of the numbers are white with the black and red outline now this one's just uh white with black on the roof but sponsors we have the original louisiana hot sauce with kroger bush's best downy ultra downy my bad tyson the original Louisiana hot sauce, Kroger click list, Bushes, Sherwin Williams, SEM. Yikes, I don't know the rest of them. <laughs> Usually I can't read much of those sponsors. I just know what their logo looks like. Um, and if it's an unrecognizable logo, then oh well. Uh, on the back, we have Louisiana hot sauce. On the deck lid, uh, we have a lot of sponsors. We have Bushes. Energizer, Crest, Scott, Clorox, Hungry Jack, uh, Max, Cheese It, Cheerios, um, uh, 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 Jimmy Dean, Miracle, Louisiana Hot Sauce, Briars. Um, it's about all I got. Here's a couple I missed. Then just says the original up on the roof. And our last car we have. Clint Boyer's 2018 Wix filters. As you can see, the main color is black, but it has Wix filters in the background of that paint scheme, just literally plastered all over. Not really sure what they're going for here, but it is interesting. See, it is literally everywhere. Not the deck lid, though, but all over the roof, all over the side. Is it on the back? No, it is not on the back. <laughs> but yeah, it is an interesting choice. Then you have these yellow lines that kind of start at the front quarter panel and move on toward the back. Most of them die out by the rear wheel. There's one line that just continues going all the way to the back. Of course, same thing on this side. All the numbers are white with yellow outline and black, I guess. Yep, black. And finally, these sponsors are Wix Filters. Wix Filters. Rush, Truck Centers, Haas, 
uh, mobile one, mobile one again, uh, Exalta, don't want to try with that one, Ford, oh wow, these are extremely tiny, which filters again is about the only one that I can recognize on that uh, B post, I think it's B post, yeah. Uh, Wix filters on the back, Wix filters on the deck lid, and three Wix filters on the roof, and of course countless Wix filters all over the car. But anyway, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been, as I said, a couple weeks, but Black Friday rush for Lionel and Plan B uh, kind of slowed things down. I'm starting to get some cars in. Got some good videos coming up. I actually have a, kind of a bonus diecast video coming up right after this. Um, you know. The next video after this should be a bonus one, hopefully. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.